Welcome to Spiritual Minefield. Today we're going to look at can a Christian enjoy Harry Potter? Stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to go and see what does God think about witchcraft. Because the movie and the book, Harry Potter, is, is all about witchcraft. Harry is a sorcerer. And he, he, you know, purportedly fights demons. But in reality, he's into witchcraft. So is buying a book and buying the movie of Harry Potter sinful in God's eyes? So we're going to look at that right now. So let's, let's first see what God thinks about witchcraft. So we're here in 2 Kings chapter 17. And here, it's going to talk about how uh, the people abandoned the word of God and went into witchcraft. And then, let's see what God felt about that. So, 2 Kings 17, we're starting in verse 16. And it says, They abandoned all the commandments of the Lord their God, and made for themselves two cast idols of calves and an Asherah pole. They bowed down to all the hosts of heaven and served Baal, or Baal. They sacrificed their sons and daughters in the fire and practice divination and soothsaying. They devoted themselves to doing evil in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger. So we see engaging in witchcraft, you're provoking. If you really belong to the Lord and you're being enticed by witchcraft, any type of witchcraft, by uh, knowing the future, reading your palms, or anything like that, you're provoking the Lord to anger. And also, you are inviting God's discipline in your life. Now, let's go to the book of Deuteronomy. And in chapter 18, there's a reason why God kicked out the Canaanites. Why he destroyed all the Canaanites. Because of how they were living. And he gave that land to the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob. And we're going to see why. So, Deuteronomy 18, we're going to start in verse 9. It says, When you enter the land that the Lord your God has given you, do not imitate the detestable ways of the of the nations there. Let no one be found among you who sacrifices his son or daughter in the fire, practices divination or conjury, interprets almonds, practices sorcery, casts spells, consults a medium or spiritist, or inquires of the dead. For whoever does these things is detestable to the Lord. And because of these detestable things, the Lord your God is driving out the nations before you. So witchcraft is detestable to the Lord. Why? Because when you do witchcraft, you are in full rebellion against God himself. Why? Because witchcraft has to do with demonic entities. You're tapping into the demonic realm so that they could do things for you or tell you things that you would never know on your own. So they have, they're very intelligent. These fallen angels are very intelligent and very deceptive. That's why God detests that because you're working for the enemy. You're working for wickedness and for unrighteousness instead of being with the Lord for righteousness, for integrity, for goodness and faithfulness. So now let's look at some of the words here of the witchcraft because he makes a long list. So the word divination means to know the future or the unknown by supernatural means. Conjury means reading tarot cards and reading someone's palms. Interpret almonds means interpreting signs. Any signs that occurs like the blood moon, the solar eclipse, and then you start interpreting it to mean something divine, something supernatural, that now the person is delving into witchcraft. Okay, sorcery, using incantations, phrases that possesses supernatural powers, almost like a magician or someone that says a phrase and then something happens. That means that supernatural beings, demonic spirits, are helping that person to accomplish whatever he wants and is all for deception. Okay, so we just saw here a few words what it means, what the witchcraft here means. So you're literally tapping into the demonic realm to do your will, but in reality, you're doing their will. See, they have you so blind that you think you're using them, but they're using you. And that's why God detests that. Now, how about Harry Potter, the movies, and also the, the books, okay? 
So now let's go here. Uh, let's go to Second John chapter one, starting in verse seven. It says, "For many deceivers have gone out into the world, refusing to confess the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh. Any such person is a deceiver and the antichrist. Watch yourselves, so that you do not lose what we have worked for, but that you may be fully rewarded. Anyone who runs ahead without remaining in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever remains in his teaching has both the Father and the Son." If anyone comes to you but does not bring this teaching, do not receive him into your home or even greet him. Whoever greets such a person shares in his evil deeds. What do these verses have to do um, having a Harry Potter movie or book? Okay, here it is. Ready? So then you have people who did not bring the message of Christ. Like for instance, some example. You have Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons who preach another uh, different father, a different Jesus, and a different Holy Spirit, a different gospel altogether. Here in the Middle East, when someone will come into your home, you will provide for them. You will provide shelter and food so that they could wake up in the morning and continue on their journey to deceive the masses. That's why it says whoever brings them into their home participate or shares in their evil deeds you cannot do that what's the connection here with harry potter basically what you're doing is you're inviting the movie and the books into your home you're purchasing them so you are supporting this demonic movie and this demonic book of harry potter you're supporting that service and then on top of that you are enjoying something that god detests so you're doing two things you are supporting and you are enjoying something that's detestable to God. Don't you see that that's something wrong? How can you enjoy that which God hates? How can you support that which God does not support? By buying the movies and the books, you are doing that. By enjoying it, you are enjoying something that God detests. Why? Because those movies and those books of Harry Potter are sending people to hell. They're deceiving people. They're making them not seek the Lord, but the supernatural, the darkness. They're helping people to seek witchcraft, the occult, to seek answers through these supernatural beings, demonic spirit. Instead of you promoting the gospel, Jesus, promoting the word of God, you are enjoying the book and then you're saying that is good if you put it on social media and you like it and you're promoting it basically you're giving the green light for someone to actually purchase it and then when they purchase it now they're supporting it so now you are finding yourself to be against god so whose side are you in are you in the side of righteousness of jesus or are you in the side of wickedness and satan you must choose you cannot be and both sides and think it's okay because it's not okay you have to make up your mind whose side do you want to be and who do you want to promote thank you for listening